Monumental visit to Fresno from the former chief aide to the prime minister of Armenia. It comes as the country of Armenia struggles to get back what they lost in the war against Azerbaijan over Artsakh. Dr. Haik Martirosian honored fallen war heroes and victims of the Armenian genocide in a pilgrimage of tribute at the event at the Ararat Cemetery in Fresno. Dr. Hike Martirosian, also a member of the National Democratic Alliance, and he joins me now. Welcome and a belated Merry Armenian Christmas to you, Doctor. How are you? Merry Christmas, Axon. Thank you. Well, Doctor, tell me more about your visit here to Fresno and the meaning behind it. Well, the meaning is we want to show that the Armenian people and their conscience is not dead in these times of complete treason in the Armenian um, government and regime. We want to show that the people are still being patriotic towards the Armenian people and that the Armenian causes are not dead yet. On the backdrop of the normalization, so-called normalization between Armenia and Turkey, which is actually a path towards the complete destruction of um, every Armenian claim and um, every recognition of genocide and every Armenian rights towards its uh, legitimate territories, we want to show that there are still people, especially here in diaspora, who care about the Armenian issues, who are patriotic towards their own people, and uh, who respect and pay tribute to the memory of those who gave their lives to the Armenian people and to the idea of a free and democratic and uh, just free Armenia. Yeah, and you're part of the National Democratic Alliance for Armenia. What's really the mission for the alliance and, and, and the political nature of it? Well, the alliance is a very large uh, group, uh, a political group, and I am a member of the council, which is the governing body. There is not one single leader, but there are 10 people who are members of the council. And uh, our agenda is uh, to correct the wrong path that Armenia has taken for the past 100 years, 70 years under the Soviet occupation and Soviet rule, and the 30 years under Russian occupation, de facto occupation and Russian rule, even though it was supposedly or nominally a free and independent state, which it wasn't. Uh, and all that policy and all the uh, background of Russia dealing with Turkey and Azerbaijan on the account of the Armenian people in Armenia have brought us to this point of complete destruction and of obtaining uh, a failed state, uh, getting a failed state. Uh, the National Democratic Alliance is the uh, only political power in Armenia which advocates for uh, partnership and close military, political and any sort of alliance with the United States, number one, with France, number two, and with a wider European Union. Uh, in general, and in uh, uh, the alliance is in favor also uh, for um, partnership and alliance with those states that are anti, uh, in anti-Turkish coalition. Uh, we understand that the path that Armenia had taken for the past hundred years has brought us to this point, and we need to change that. Uh, you, you know, Doctor, I, I want to get in because President Biden officially recognized Armenian genocide, but then has also given aid to Azerbaijan and zero sanctions on Turkey. And I'm just wondering, you know, Armenia has yet to receive any monetary help from the war or on the pandemic. So I'm wondering, from the Biden administration, how does Armenia perceive President Biden, ally or adversary? That's a very good question, and thank you for asking it. First of all, we need to take into account that the Russian propaganda and the major political powers inside the country, both the government and the two uh, parliamentary opposition groups, which are controlled by Kremlin, are trying to picture President Biden and his administration, the United States in general, as an adversary of Armenia, which makes a backdoor deal uh, with Turkey which is exactly the opposite of the reality. The reality is that the Armenian borders are being protected not by the Russian occupying forces right now, but by the American diplomacy and the American government, and also by the European Union. What comes to the aid to Azerbaijan and non-sanctions against Turkey, uh, it is very, there is a very simple explanation for that. It's better close, uh, keep your enemies close. Uh, and to have some control over those countries that are actually not enemies but adversaries mm -hmm. uh, in terms of interests of the United States. Therefore, um, the government in Armenia, the regime, and the uh, two opposition uh, parties are trying to portray America as, as evil. However, we understand that America is the only chance that Armenia got, uh, has got.
uh, President Biden is perceived, is being perceived right now positively by more and more people inside Armenia because people have realized the destructive and the, the treasonous role that the Russia that Russia has played in this war and in its aftermath. Dr. Hike Martirosian, hey, we appreciate the time. Thanks so much. And, and again, thanks for coming into Fresno on this important time. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me.